Aumsum was lying upside down on the couch, tossing a pencil into the air and trying to balance it on his nose. But then, as he rolled over and the pencil clattered to the floor, a strange thought floated into his mind. Huh? Which is the largest ocean in our solar system? At first, Amsom chuckled. It had to be the Pacific Ocean on Earth, right? He had seen it on maps and globes, stretching like a blue blanket across almost half of the planet. But he had learned that Earth was just one of many fascinating worlds in the solar system, and who knew what surprises the others might hold? Determined to find the truth, Amsum imagined himself aboard a shiny space cruiser, zipping past Mars, soaring beyond the asteroid belt, and gliding through the icy winds of the outer planets. He hovered near Jupiter and its stormy clouds, then peeked at Saturn's rings and finally reached the mysterious world of Ganymede, Jupiter's largest moon. Now, Ganymede wasn't just big, it was actually the largest moon in the entire solar system, even bigger than Mercury. And beneath its icy crust, scientists believed there was an enormous ocean. But this ocean wasn't like Earth's oceans, with crashing waves and salty breezes. This one was hidden deep below the surface, a vast, dark sea trapped under layers of ice. Omsum imagined submarines diving through the icy water, discovering creatures no one had ever seen, glowing softly in the pitch-black depths. But Ganymede wasn't the only one hiding an ocean. Europa, another moon of Jupiter, and Enceladus, a tiny moon of Saturn, also had oceans buried under their frozen shells. Amsum was amazed to learn that even though these moons looked like cold, lifeless ice balls, they might have more water than all of Earth's oceans combined. Hmm.